Hey guys, I hate revision guides. I don't see the point of them. I'm sorry. I know this is, I know some people are gonna upset this, but I don't see the point of them. So I made you a free one. So why do I not like revision guides? Well, there are a number of reasons why I don't like revision guides. Um, if you're gonna spend money on something, I think you might as well just spend that little bit of extra money and get the textbook that has everything in it. Um, revision guides don't have everything in there. They're skipping parts out. They're very thin, they're very, very short. They don't have everything in there. Um, you can get most of the information for free. So whether it's on YouTube, my channel, other people's channels, whether it's in your exercise book, whether it's some stuff that the school has given you, Revision guides, I kind of feel they're like they're a little bit of a comfort blanket. It's something that you think is really, really like, well, it is really, really easy and you think it's going to like do loads and loads of good, but all it is, I think, really, is just giving you something to hold on to. So you're paying money for stuff that you can get for free. And the temptation with the revision guides, this is my biggest problem with them, is that you like to sit there and highlight them. And then there aren't any questions in there. And questions are the bit that you really, really need, which is where the past papers come in, which are all available for free. So I don't like revision guides because there's the temptation just to colour them in and it's making you pay money for stuff that's all available for free. So I haven't made your revision guide. I haven't like gone just reiterated everything because I've already done the videos of that. You know, I've got the whole of AQA C1 video that's processing over there now. I've already made you the revision guide. It's just a video format, so you can't color it in. What I have made for you is potentially the most boring document ever, literally. It was horrendously dull to write and it will be horrendously dull to read. What I've done is I've taken specification, which is that really, really long, boring document that um, the exam board tells us what to teach you. So this is what the exam board expects you to know. And I've just turned it into a tick list. Now this isn't revolutionary. I'm sure loads of teachers have given you tick lists before. Um, this isn't amazing. Like I said, this is really, really, really boring. But I'm giving it to you for free. And I've done C1, C2, C3, P1, P2, P3, B1, P2, P3. So all, everything you need for foundation, higher, double, triple science. And I have put like, you know, all of my quick fire questions in there, all my 10 hardest questions in there. All of my like, you know, tips for chemistry exams, five most common mistakes in physics exams. So all of the like loads of revision stuff that I've made in video format, I would just put it into a Word document for you. Now it is 130 pages long. Yes, it's long, um, but it's free. So what I suggest you do is you go to your local supermarket or whatever and buy a, at least one, if not two, depending on how big you want to print it out. Um, you know, stacks of paper, probably a couple of print cartridges as well, and then spend a weekend morning printing it out. In the description over on my website, I've also put a link to a Google Drive where I've put loads and loads and loads of free revision resources that I haven't made, um, that other teachers have made up there for you. So it's like loads of workbooks, loads of crosswords, just loads of really, really good stuff that is available for free for you that you don't have to pay for and that you cannot just colour in. So it's free and it's more useful, in my opinion, and I do like to think I know what I'm talking about, than just going out and buying your box standard um, revision guide. The other thing I've put on there is a link to where you can get all of the um, past papers. Again, these are the best thing you can do to revise and you don't have to pay for them. They're all available for free. Now I know it's gonna take you quite a lot of time and you know you can have to spend some money on the print cartridges and the um, paper to print it all out, but this is really, really going to be worth your while. So, I'm sorry if anyone is upset by the fact that I hate revision guides. I don't mean to be rude to anyone, but I really don't like revision guides. I think you use them as a comfort blanket. When they're not the most useful things in the world, I think there are better ways to revise, like I've just said. Um, and I'm sorry if you've already spent money on a lot of revision guides. I've made you one for free. Good luck, guys.